Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. In today's video, I'm doing a fun little summer DIY project. I'm gonna be taking this basic utility cart and making it into a customized bar cart using my Cricut Joy and some spray paint. So if you wanna see this makeover, just keep watching. This is my DIY bar cart that I created and I'm gonna be walking you through the step-by-step -step process of how I got this look today. Today's video is sponsored by Cricut and I'm gonna be using my Cricut Joy to add some custom tropical leaf appliques. If you are new to Cricut or you don't have one, the Joy is a awesome one to have. I've had it for a couple of months now. I've made birthday cards with it. I've made um, labels for my kids' water bottles. It can do so many different things and this is going to be a great easy beginner project to help you jump into using your own Cricut. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using this three layer rolling cart from Target. I got this for about $35 in the organizing section. You could get something very similar from Walmart or Amazon for around the same price, or you could try to find Facebook marketplace for someone who's selling a used one. I could not find any, so I'm just building my own, which is coming in handy here because everything is taken apart and I want to spray paint the base. So I'm not going to have to tape it off or anything. So I'm starting off by just cleaning it with a degreaser. Again, this is brand new but uh this is something you would definitely want to do if you had a used one plus I don't know if there's any grease or something on it from it being made and manufactured so just cleaning it with that simple green uh taking some water and then rinsing that residue off and then I'm setting everything up to spray paint I am going to spray the casters as well, but I want to leave the wheels black because it's going to coordinate with all my decor that I have on my covered porch. So I'm just taping those up so I don't get any paint on those. Because of all my work I do, I had a couple of cans of gold spray paint in my stock. So I'm just using both of those. They are suitable for outdoor projects and they're going to help this not rust if it's sitting outside. I'm spray painting with the garage doors open because you really want to be in a ventilated area when you're working with this. Just read your manufacturer settings on your can for dry time and recoat time. I let this set overnight and then I built it together. And then once I built it, I saw that I had missed some spots. So I came back in with my spray paint and touched up any areas that had some holes. So while that's drying, I'm gonna grab my Cricut Joy and start making my tropical leaves that I'm gonna drape all over my bar cart. I love the Cricut Joy because it is so compact and easy to store and I can haul it all over the house and just work on my project wherever I have space. And it's also great because you can use it with the Smart Vinyl. So it already has a backing on it. You don't have to worry about putting the vinyl on one of those grip sheets and everything, which makes it really easy. So I'm just grabbing my vinyl transfer tape, my weed tools and some scissors and I also have some rubbing alcohol so that is all I'm gonna need. I'm gonna pull up my Cricut Design app and I'm gonna search for tropical leaves that I can put on here and I found a project for a cell phone that I thought would work really well for this and would be the perfect size. So I am just going to pull this up and what I love about this is it tells me everything that I'm going to need and gives me step by step directions on how to get through this project. And this project is included in having a Cricut Design Space membership. You can do it month to month or you can set it for a year and you can cancel any time and for a small fee you get access to great projects like this. So I'm using Smart Vinyl, so I'm going to say that I'm cutting without a mat, and this is what my machine is going to cut, so I'm going to get this all out and ready to go. I'm actually using removable vinyl. You can definitely use permanent vinyl here. I decided to use removable in case I want to take these off and maybe dress it up a different way for the 4th of July or maybe a birthday party. So I'm selecting my material on here and then it's going to have me load it in and this machine checks to make sure that you have enough vinyl to cut what you're trying to cut. And then I'm just going to hit go and the machine is going to go to work cutting my leaves. Once it's done cutting, I'm gonna unload my vinyl and then I'm gonna cut off my portion that has my design on it. Another cool thing about this machine is it can cut up to 20 feet continuously. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm gonna weed the excess vinyl off. So I'm just gonna pull this huge piece off and then I'm gonna take my weeding tool and get out all the details inside the leaves. Now I'm gonna put my vinyl on some transfer tape to put it onto my bar cart. For this particular project, this wouldn't be necessary. You could just pull the vinyl off and stick them on there since they're one big piece and you're not having other little pieces that need to be on that transfer tape. But this is a great practice for using transfer tape down the road and I think it's just easier and that way you're not gonna mess up your vinyl in any way and you're not gonna touch the back of it and compromise it sticking. So I'm using my scraper tool to get that transfer tape to stick to my vinyl so that I can peel off its backing. And then I'm going to be applying all of these individually, so I'm going to cut them all up to size. So now that I've got one set down, I'm going to go ahead and make my two other sets. Before I apply my vinyl, I'm just grabbing some regular rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna prep the area where I'm gonna be applying my tropical leaves. This is just gonna remove all the oil so that there's nothing on here that would hinder them from sticking. I did my first bin off camera and now I'm starting on the second. So I'm just using that transfer tape to peel off the backing of my transfer and I'm being really careful not to touch the back adhesive of my transfer at all because I don't want to compromise the way it's going to stick. I'm going to place it in the area that I want and then again I'm going to use my scraper to stick that nice and flat and make sure it's all adhered and then I'm going to take my transfer tape and peel that back very slowly. I wanted these fun tropical summer leaves to go in a sweeping motion across the bin. So I'm just lining these up individually the way that I want them and applying them. Okay, that is looking super cute and tropical and summery. So now I'm gonna put the cart back together. So I took these out to the garage and I started by screwing them on in one corner and then going over to the side and screwing in the other corner just to balance it and get it in there. You wanna be really careful um, if yours is having to be assembled like mine, not to scratch um, the fresh paint. If you could let the paint cure a couple of days, you'd be in the best position, but you know, I am impatient and I had a video to make for you guys. So um, I went ahead and did mine like after a day and I did scratch it up a little bit, but I'm gonna show you how to fix that in just a little bit. I'm tightening these just a little bit so they stay in place, but you definitely do not wanna tighten all the screws until you get the whole thing put together.
My garage floor is notorious for scratching my furniture, so I brought this out to the smooth back patio um, to put on the casters. So I'm just removing all the tape and my wheels look nice and black and beautiful. They didn't get any paint on them. And then I'm just going to screw these on. When you get these on, you do want to set up the cart and make sure that it's level. So you might have to lower one of the wheels or tighten one of the wheels to get it all rolling and level and nice and even. Now to touch up my scratches, I'm just gonna grab one of these foam painters, spray some paint on there, and then I can dab any little area where I have some mess ups. And that is it, this beverage bar cart is ready to party. So I grabbed some stuff inside and I styled it up and I wheeled it into place. So I think she's really cute. I had so much fun doing this DIY. You guys, I'm a crafter at heart. So I love how fun and easy the Cricut makes crafting. I will, you know, be doing some more crafting down the road here. And I still would love to incorporate this into more of my furniture makeovers. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for joining me for today's project. Normally I would say I'll be back next week with another video, but I'm gonna be taking July off from projects. I'm gonna be spending time with my kids and my family. So I hope you guys have a great summer and I will see you back in August and I'm gonna eat some gummy bears. See you guys next time. <laughs>